Don Peoples did, but let's talk about it. So we got to get into real quick, man. My man Puff Daddy, aka Puff Juice, aka Daddy Love, got BET Awards Lifetime Achievement for Sean Diddy Combs. Now, a lot of people got mixed reviews on this whole situation. You know, was he deserving of a lifetime achievement? When really, when we unpack his achievements, you know, yeah, we see a lot of, you know, he's won awards, you know, he's won Grammys, et cetera. But just, you know, we know the history of Puff and what Puff has done throughout the industry. It kind of makes it hard for us to look at it as a lifetime achievement. Um, you know, I guess it was a situation to where, hey, they didn't probably have anybody else that they can give it to. But, you know, he had a star-studded cast out to come support. Obviously, Mr. Ye himself, Kanye, had to make a splash. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't understand with the cover-up. I know you don't want to be seen. I know you like a rock star, but there's a lot of different ways we can go about it. You could tell that he was breathing very hard to try to get through uh, giving a whole speech. Um, but to come fully dressed in winter attire when you out on the West Coast and it's hot as hell, I, I didn't understand the point in that. Um, you got biker gloves on. I mean, I understand you a billionaire, but this whole thing right here was kind of funny to me. I didn't understand the logic in that at all. <laughs> but, you know, Kanye has some kind words. Obviously, you know, Babyface was up there. And, you know, Kanye said something about Kim, you know, which obviously took some headlines, you know, because he, you know, he was obviously had to throw a jab at Kim and Pete, you know, in their whole happy relationship. But I think that the steal, too, also was Shine coming out doing Bad Boy. Now, I know that they made, you know, peace with their differences and stuff like that. But I still think with how Puffy played his hand and basically chose his relationship and everything else over him and leaving uh, Shine to rot for all those years, it's just a blessing from the universe that Shine was able to bounce back and, you know, have a productive life and obviously be the, you know, the president of Belize and, you know, this whole, you know, political route he's going, but still aligning himself with Puffy all these years later, I still ain't feeling that. I mean, I feel like if somebody had their hand in getting you in jail, switched all your lawyers around and, and didn't give you a real solid defense and really was just trying to clear his name, I really don't feel like that's cool, you know, looking back on it. Um, it's good that Sean was able to look past it. You know, probably got a bag for showing up. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I, I just feel that, that that can't be genuine, you know. But for all the people that Puff stepped on, you know, Puff stepped on a lot of dudes, man, to get where he's at. Um, I think the only person to ever finish the bad boy contract might have been French Montana. But, you know, it's, it's not a lot of artists that can vault for Puff as far as, them making a bag off Puff or, you know, them coming, you know, and being their own bosses. I, I think the only one that was destined for that was the one that's currently not with us that gave him his start. But, you know, overall, you know, did he impact the culture? Yes. Uh, when it comes to hip hop, I mean, when it comes to this, you know, culture and being an icon as far as in you know, liquors and, and fashion and stuff of that nature, you know, Puff was that guy, you know, doing the parties and the whole nine. So you got to salute him. But at the same time, was he deserving for a lifetime? I don't know. I wish we can ask Big that, you know, if Big was alive, would he still be with Puff? Would him and Puff still have that relationship that was rumored to be on the rocks before Big met his demise? I mean, that's a good question. That's something we'll never know. But Puff obviously being close to a Billy, you know, he can buy support. You know, he can buy fake friends. He can make people show up for him and show out. I mean, that's just the nature of the business. It moves by the money. So, you know, for me to see certain people there or, or people co-signing him now, it's just because of his power in the industry. You know, Puff is a gatekeeper in hip-hop. Um, that's why Puffy remains at the top of the throne. 
as as one of the gatekeepers. Him, Jay, um, you know, Dr. Dre, them three men, you know, that's why they're able to stay where they're at. Um, it's because, you know, of who and what they've done and what they were willing to sacrifice throughout the history of hip hop. So I guess it's left for you to judge what what way you want to go. Do you feel like it was a lifetime achievement at the BET Awards? Um, I want to hear y'all thoughts on it, man. Y'all get in the comment box. Y'all let me know. Do y'all feel like Puff was deserving of this award? Or do you feel that, you know, um, you know, yeah, he, he was he was one of the, the goats of hip hop. So he deserves a lifetime achievement. But y'all get in the comment box and let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification tab so y'all can tap in every time I drop a video. It's your boy Don Peoples. Dead boat. Go.